About 4.5 billion years ago, a giant molecular cloud consisting mostly of hydrogen and helium started collapsing under its own gravity, probably triggered by a shock wave from a nearby supernova. As the gas collapsed onto itself, tremendous pressure is put on the innermost region. Eventually, enough heat was generated in the core, triggering nuclear fusion, giving birth to our sun. Since then, our sun has been enjoying its life in the most stable form. The light pressure generated inside the core is counterbalancing the gravity and preventing the sun from collapsing further. This stage will last for about 5.5 billion years more before the sun runs out of its fuel. By then, the sun's luminosity will have doubled and it starts collapsing again. This time, Helium nuclei in the core will fuse to form heavier elements, and the resulting pressure will expand the sun's outer region. In about a billion years, the sun will expand to 200 times its size, engulfing even Earth. Eventually, in the next billion years, our sun will shed off its outer region into planetary nebula, and the core is condensed into white dwarf mostly composed of carbon. Within 10,000 years, the planetary nebula will be dispersed and the white dwarf slowly fades into black dwarf in the next trillion years, by which time it would have turned into a gigantic diamond in the core. 